Guys, I am so excited. Today we are going to talk about the media replacement feature in the MoGraph templates. New, new, new feature which came out uh, in, uh, in uh, the newest version of After Effects and Premiere last week, two weeks ago, more or less. It depends on where you are watching the video. Maybe one year ago. I don't know. Uh, it's such a great feature. You can just create templates uh, and you can put a picture uh, which is just a placeholder. And then when you're going to use it in Premiere, you just replace the picture with the picture you need in that moment or the video you you want uh, you want to advertise, for instance. You can use this in uh, in uh, to have templates for for your uh, Instagrams uh, or for your uh, Facebook or whatever you publish on your social media. So it's going to be very, very, very interesting today's tutorial. So first we're going to look into uh, Premiere. So how we, how do we use uh, this uh, this feature, this meter replacement in template in Premiere. After that, uh, if you are still interested, we're going to see on how, how to create a, a template in, in After Effects and uh, save it and use it after that in, in uh, Premiere. So let's jump in softwares okay as I said today we are gonna talk about this super new functionality that was introduced in the newer versions of uh, Premiere and After Effects which is the media replacement in the MoGraph templates or you can say MoGrits MoGrits um, so it's a great functionality. I mean, I see so many possibilities. I'm going to just show you very uh, quickly how it works. So I have developed a new uh, Mog Mogert uh, so that we can have a look at how it works. So let's, uh, this is um, the essential graphic panel in uh, Premiere. So first of all, we are going to see how uh, it uh, works, how we can use this, and then we're gonna go to uh, After Effects and see how we can uh, create a template. But if you're just a user, a final user a user of, uh, of, um, of templates and want to just create videos, you want to care about uh, creating templates, this is in Premiere, this is what you got to do. So once you have your uh, templates imported, you can just take it and grab it and, and um, import it in the timeline and you see this is the template that I have uh, created uh, if you go and edit uh, if you don't have the essential graphic panel uh, no worry it's uh, very easy you just oh, you can uh, for instance you can you're in this situation you just uh, go to window and then uh, select the essential graphic and it will appear somewhere on the screen you can place it wherever you like Let's keep it here on the right. Um, I have a, um, so once you uh, have your uh, template on the timeline here, you just select it. And you have, a, if you go to edit, you have all the um, properties that, that are uh, available to the final user, which have been, as they have been developed by the template uh, creator. And what's new uh, is this part, uh, which is the, um, the main uh, media, I mean, it uh, can be any any media, but uh, yes, for this template that I have done, it's just the main photo, the main picture, which you can replace. So um, let me just uh, uh, play the, the template. It just have, has the image going and in and out of the screen for the quick presentation of something that you can share on uh, Instagram, for instance. Um, so. What you can do uh, from the starting with the latest version uh, is just grab uh, a new photo, for instance you can have uh, this one, you put it there and voila, it's been replaced automatically in the template. Uh, you can have some, uh, some, uh, some, uh, some uh, options to modify to the position, the place, uh, but you see it's Voila, you can do, you can use for instance this, uh, if you are a YouTuber, you can use this to create the, <coughs> the, the, the advertising of your videos on Instagram, uh, or it's really, it's really easy and super cool. You can, but that's not all, uh, you can also uh, put videos in, the, in, uh, in, uh, in here. So let's get the video of my daughter swimming underwater, and you see that uh, you have... Uh, you have the video put in the place you want. You can um, 
modify the starting point uh, of the video according to your to your needs i think this is a such such a great functionality i'm gonna use it uh, more and more uh, because uh, yes for for doing videos on youtube this is great because you have uh, your templates you can replace uh, things wherever you want uh, so great get in contact with me if you need uh, more more help or any advice on this no problem um here i have put some other um properties uh, for instance you have this uh, bug which is a bug I've, I've sketched on my on my sketchbook and then I have uh, digitalized it and uh, make it move in After Effects uh, it's uh, I've done a, I think I have done um, a tutorial on this on how to animate uh, using pin puppets puppets tool I will put a link here on the top if you are interested in moving uh, this kind of things uh, but that's not the goal of today's video so you can uh, hide it uh, you can modify the position of it you can uh, flip it vertically you can make it smaller or bigger you can modify the text uh, okay okay and that's it so that's great great potential here so that's it for this part in premiere and so if you are uh, interested in seeing how it works in uh, in uh, in after effects on how to create a template uh, let's see right now <coughs> we are now in after effects so um how do we create um, a template and how do we use the media replacement? So this is the template we have just used in in in, um, in Premiere. Uh, it's pretty 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 complex. There are many properties, but let's let's start from from scratch. So we're gonna see how how we can do. So let's create a new composition. Uh, let's click on this button, and uh, 1080 per 1080. It's so gonna be okay. I'm very much into Instagram format lately, so I like squares and everything. So if you wanna well, follow me in Instagram, uh, this is my uh, my username on Instagram. Have a look. Uh, so create a decomposition. Oh, forgot to give it a name. It's always good to give a name. Uh, so this is a. Uh, let's say we want to create a uh, YouTube. Uh, then plate so here we are um, so what we can do we can uh, well let's do something very easy let's uh, let's uh, add my 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 logo in it uh, so it's an enormous logo as my ego <laughs> now it's 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 big because it's bitmap and and uh, I want to have some place uh, in case I want to scale it, um, so let's make it like so. Um, let's put it in here, and then we can say what we can do. Um, I don't know. Let's have. Uh, let's put some uh, square like like this. Uh, let's keep shift to make it square and uh, yeah and let's see it we can we can even um, center it and that's it yeah but no I don't like that it's so over the logo so we can put it like that okay um, so here we can put some some text uh, let's put uh, yeah this is this is a text uh, let's uh, move it here let's align it on the sorry the paragraph let's align it on the left and now let's add a picture uh, I have this picture yeah we can use whatever picture we have let's use this one it's nicer um, and let's put it in here so now we have uh, let's say that this is our our template we can put uh, make it a little bit be big like 
this and this and uh, whatever. Um, like this. Okay. And we can maybe we can put uh, drop shadow on the image. <laughs> drop shadow. Tack. So we have a little bit of shadow, a little bit more distant, a little bit softer. So it's it's uh, something nice. Okay. Now let's say that we want to uh, save this as a template. Uh, what do we have to do? First thing, we have to look for the Essential Graphic uh, panel. Just uh, click on Window and click on Essential Graphics. It will appear somewhere on the screen. You can put it wherever you want. I like to have it here on the left of uh, my composition. So let's select the composition. So now we are going to work on this uh, YouTube template. Uh, we can put the name, uh, which is the name that will appear uh, on the on the um, premiere, for instance, uh, so uh, YouTube uh, one, yeah, we can uh, we can just put uh, the name we like. It must be something speaking to you, um, and then that's it. Now we can have to put uh, the properties that we want to uh, share. I mean to 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 let the user. Um, be able to to modify in here. Just drag and drop the um, the properties. You can also uh, solo the supported properties. When you click on this, uh, you see that here on the timeline, you will um, uh, the, the the After Effects will expand uh, all the properties that you can uh, put in the in this. Uh, you can let uh, uh, the the user to modify. Um, what you can do, I mean, to modify the, the image, uh, which is the media replacement, which is the goal <laughs> of today's video, you have just to get the uh, layer and put it in here, drag it in here. You see that now you have uh, this uh, um, property here. You can modify the name, you can say picture or uh, movie. Uh, and that's it. Now you can put also other uh, properties, uh, for example, the text. Uh, um, you can uh, modify the source text. So if you want to modify, you can put it in here. This, you grab this, the, the source text property. You're going to drag it in here. Uh, you can edit properties. You can uh, let the user modify the font uh, and the size uh, and everything. There are many ways to, 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 to work with this. And that's it. You can also, for instance, you can uh, modify the color or s of, the, of, uh, of the background here. So let's go to the shape layer, which is not a good uh, idea to let it shape layer, but you can call it uh, something like uh, background. And you can go to the uh, fill property, color, and that's it. You just take it and drag it here and let's say we are okay with these three properties and uh, what we're gonna do now is to export the motion graphic template so uh, just click on this button uh, do you need to save it let's save it and you're gonna wait uh, wait some seconds and now you can see you can select where you want to uh, to save your uh, template, your MoGraph template, you can either save it to the local templates folder or the local drive or into your uh, online uh, libraries in the Creative Cloud. Let's say that we want to save it on the local drive and yeah we're going to save it in on the disk. We create a, a .mogret file, okay? And now you can, you see, you, ca you have a series of check of compatibility. So warn me if this uh, motion graphics and play uses fonts that are not available in Adobe fonts. It's a good practice to use uh, just uh, Adobe fonts and so you won't have any problem uh, with that. Um, some templates uh, need uh, After Effects to be installed. Uh, so yeah, you're going to receive a warn for that. Or uh, um, yeah, no, all, all kind of, uh, of words. You can put some keywords so that uh, you can uh, mm, use those keywords in the research in the search uh, of uh, in in, uh, in Premiere. Now let's click on OK, and that's it. That's done. So you have your uh, Mogret file. 
uh, which is gonna be somewhere in my here mogart uh, file uh, yeah that's it uh, it's uh, it's very very light uh, it's one megabyte and then you can uh, you can use it in uh, in premiere so let's go to premiere uh, let's go to browse let's uh, here in the essential graphics panel let's click on the uh, little plus button here on the on the bottom left uh, wait because you have my image over it let's move me up and now you can see this plus button uh, so install uh, motion graphic template uh, you just double click on youtube one which we have just created uh, and you're gonna have it in here your you tube oh, no youtube no you tube and you have it here just you just grab it you put it in here let's make some place uh, and you have it in in After Effects, in, in Premiere, sorry. And uh, as you can see, you can uh, modify the text. Uh, what's up? And you can modify the color. And then you can modify the, uh, the source. Uh, the media replacement is here. Just draw the movie uh, the video or the or the image uh, over here of the property and once you leave it it's gonna appear on the screen and that's it you are happy uh, you can there are a bunch of uh, properties here that you can modify so scale to fit uh, you see uh, scale uh, stretch to fill uh, no scale but you can modify also the, the percentage of uh, of, uh, of the scaling here and uh, isn't it great i'm so excited i'm gonna use it so much now um so that's it that's it for today i think uh, i think that uh, this is a great functionality i'm gonna prepare a lot a lot a lot of uh Mograph templates that will support me in uh, on these videos uh, any question you have uh, just get in contact with me as always uh, in the comments below subscribe to my channel if you still haven't uh, i'm gonna publish uh, one video one tutorial a week with the latest uh, uh, news on uh, adobe premiere and adobe after effects which are the main instruments i use uh, together with photoshop and blender sometimes and these kind of things anyway have fun and create uh, a lot of MoGraph templates, uh, uh, put them on Instagram or YouTube or on Facebook or your social media and uh, tag me so that I can have a look uh, and uh, let's have fun together. Have a nice day. Bye.